Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Cardano price. We're going to take a look at the Bitcoin price briefly. And we are also talking about the Cardano Elliott Ways, give you an update where I think we are and where we might be heading. I mean, you know about my targets, but have we seen already that bottom or not? Um, and I'm going to talk about that. Before we start again, thanks for everybody. A few new members in the membership group. We're now 19 members which is fantastic. So if you're interested in live streams and more interaction in chat rooms, then please check out the membership, which you can find next to the subscribe button. There's also a link in the video description. And also if you're interested in finding out more about how technical analysis works, then you can find a link to my second YouTube channel on which I teach technical analysis on a daily basis. There's a lesson each day, of course, completely free. Today, very important day for every ADA holder, everybody who's interested in ADA. We've got the summit coming up. I'm very excited. Won't take much longer until we start. I will attend it virtually because I also want to spend some time with the family at home on the weekend. Um, there have been a few things coming onto the agenda and I'm going to talk about them at the end of the video. I've put some timestamps into the video. So if you're interested in um, hanging out, just uh, stay on after the technical analysis. Very exciting today. And let's start with Bitcoin first. So let's start with Bitcoin on the daily. Bitcoin on the daily does show signs of weakness in my view. So I don't see that sustainable sign that we are continuing our way to the upside at the moment. I did say in the previous videos that I expect us to come down at least once more down to maybe 37,000 and a half. And um, yeah, st still see the RSI on the below the 50 line in the bearish range. The RSI is continuing to go down. Um, also on the MACD, I mean, we are still very much on the MACD in bearish territory. And you can see how massive that is. The MACD line is still going down. That is not just a short sign of weakness. That is something substantive. And we have tried to get into the green territory here around the 18th and 19th of September, but failed to do so. It has been dropping since then. And um, the MACD line is going down. No sign of recovery here on the MACD. And also we can actually see on the ADX that the downtrend is speeding up actually, gaining momentum on the ADX. The white line is the ADX line, the higher it goes, the stronger the trend. The red line is quite far away from the green line. It's actually a short signal, which started here on the um, 6th of September. So in my view, um, we haven't seen that low yet, which is also why I think that Cardano, unless it really decouples itself from Bitcoin, will sell off once more. And I've been talking about the 185 target um, and we're getting to that in a second, even though it's looking quite good at the moment. And by no means I'm talking the price, price down here at the moment. You know that Cardano is my biggest holding, but I want to be realistic. I want to be um, honest with you. And whenever it comes to financial decisions and financial markets, crypto and whatever else, it is important to just take the emotion out and just objectively try to analyze. So let us continue with Cardano then, because Cardano is looking better today than Bitcoin does, certainly. Started to decouple itself a little bit today, where Bitcoin is staying, you know, at the sort of lower end, mid-range here of that um, trend line here on the daily. We haven't looked at the four-hour chart, but I don't think we need to with Bitcoin at the moment, because um, essentially this is a Cardano video. So Cardano has managed to get above this trend line here, which is currently the four-hour chart, on the daily, you can see that I'm actually not cutting through any bodies with that trend line here. Um, it is that trend line here. We broke out to the upside of that trend line. We broke out above that um, 225 and also above the 230 level at the moment. We are at around 233 at the moment, but we are below that. Um, we are still sort of sitting, in my view, below that. I mean, it probably is that someone in the um, in the previous video wrote it would probably make more sense to actually add a um, add a zone here that because this is so this is so messy this um, resistance level if you can see it on the four hour chart this is where the descending triangle actually um, started this is the whole support level of that descending triangle that we had back here which was sort of a substructure of that larger descending. Um, which in which we're currently trading, but you've got quite a busy bit of a, a messy support and um, resistance area here because um, it's not very clearly defined. So you've got a lot of wicks going in that area. At the end here, you had quite clearly defined the 232 
but before that you had a little bit of um, noise in there and that is why I think yeah it, it certainly makes sense to maybe um, extend that zone out a little bit it is a zone we need to get through maybe even make it a bit higher until um oops that was the right mouse button maybe even until till here to make sure that we just go through that level we're currently within that level here and that's important to um to get through to get above that level and continue our way to the upside however as i just said if bitcoin bitcoin is not looking good at all and i think if bitcoin really drops again cardano will suffer as well i think what we can see here today why Cardano is really moving um, to the upside, I think, is because of the summit. Clearly, you have to say that a lot of people expect the market to go up after the summit. But, you know, a lot of people expected that after the Alonso hard fork as well. And I'm sure that would happen. But it's not like, um, you know, you've got the Alonso hard fork and then suddenly everything is going up. It didn't happen. And it could be the same today where there's a bit of expectation um, you can see that massive green candle here, a bit of expectation or lots of expectations beforehand. And there will probably be throughout the summit on these two days, a lot of volatility in the market. So it is very hard to predict what's going to happen. You know, there's a lot of volatility in the market, but overall we are still in that downtrend. I, we haven't got above that noisy level of support and resistance here. So we need to get above that. And even then, you know, I'm now on the daily. The daily chart is looking a bit better than Bitcoin, but still you are overall in a bearish area so here on the we are still below the 50 line on the rsi still bearish we are still below the zero line on the macd the histogram is red haven't made a bullish cross yet even though here where bitcoin doesn't make any sign of um, reversing cardano actually is slightly going up and we could get a bullish cross here potentially in the next few days macd lines uh, sorry the adx very weak trend um, but again in the short range still in the negative um, and you know that crossover here that negative or bearish crossover happened just before we actually move, rushed here to the downside so that was on the 6th of September and we haven't managed to get it uh, f flipped into a bullish signal let's take a look at the four hour chart and what we can see here for Cardano is that um, also on the RSI this is getting a little bit better here so the RSI on the four hour is actually above 50. So that's good. Um, but we were also, you know, we were also in the oversold range here a few days ago. So that is why we bounced off there, had a bit of a recovery. And the MACD here on the um, four hour chart has made that bullish cross on the 22nd of September and is going up further. And however, the RSI, the ADX has not yet made that cross so even though the rsi is going up even though the price is going up even though the macd is going up the adx sh still remains red which is why i think you know we, we still can come down um come down a little bit more and maybe a final look on the one hour chart where it is similar where on the one hour we can see that yes we are going up on the rsi as well in the bullish range the macd here on the hourly however is about to make a bearish cross potentially again so that could lead us down again once more a little bit and also we've just made a bearish cross here again on the adx the red line crossing the, blue, the green line to the upside which again indicates we could come down once more also on the hourly so overall i don't think i don't see any sign that we really have seen that sustainable move to the upside yet i still think we are still potentially in that scenario and move that we can come down once more guys prepare for that prepare for that just chill out just um take the emotion out and i think it is still happening once more especially because bitcoin is still leading the market even though cardano is decoupling itself a little bit um bitcoin is still leading the market if bitcoin comes down once more cardano will come down once more as well and this is basically that range that i've been talking about on the um Elliott waves, we are currently still, in my view, on in, in primary wave three, where we have made that wave one we've built in May this year, wave two also in May, we've come down quite significantly, and we're currently still in that primary wave three. Um, there you go, we haven't finished that yet, and as long as we don't drop below one dollar, then this is still in play, this scenario. So, and I don't think we will get down below $1. We still have a lot of space. There's a lot of space between where we are now and $1. So even if there is another sell-off, 
we won't in, in my view we won't get to to down to the dollar so that is a very valid scenario still for me one two and three which we haven't built yet target still at least for 50 in the next few months and we could potentially what i think we could potentially like <clears throat> in my initial worst case scenario should we really sell off once more come down i think like to something like 150 which is here the 0.236 fibonacci retracement support level on the chart However, what I need to say, we already came into the target box here, which was the um, 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level here on this chart. And um, what, however, I still haven't seen that final, you know, that, that impulse to the upside yet, which is why I think we come down um, once more. So here, a little summary where the price is currently heading on the one hour chart, the four hour and the daily. We can see that on the one hour and the four hour, the RSI is in the, bear, in the bullish range. Whereas on the daily, it is still in the bearish range below 50. And we can potentially see here a bearish cross on the one hour chart for the MACD. On the four hour chart, this is still bullish. But I think if we see that bearish cross on the MACD, we could see another price drop, which would then also potentially stop us from um, going through that 50 line of the RSI on the daily. And you can see that on the daily we are anyway um, on the uh, on, on the MACD also quite bearish and the ADX all three time frames that I've been looking at here on the hourly the four hour and the daily pretty much in the red um, all short signals currently and that is why I think we might come down once more and um, Elliott Wave is telling us that that this is still in play again until we drop it only when we drop below one dollar that would then invalidate that whole scenario here then we would need to start the recounts but at the moment um and you know we haven't seen that major move to the upside yet so there is not really that impulsive move to the upside i can see yet i need a few things need to change there so as long as that is still the case i still think we might drop down once more yes people say you know during the summit do you not expect the price to go up well it could go down up once more you know maybe for a short period there's a lot of volatility happening because i have no idea what kind of news are coming up there will be a lot of excitement in the market a lot of volatility in the next few days so expect a lot of up and down um the price has now gone up quite quite a lot actually before that summit already um so there might be you know we were down to 190 please bear that in mind we might it has come up now to 233 and if you know if certain news come out that people didn't expect it might go up once more but um we would really need to get i think above 280 which is the top of that um that head and shoulders that we saw to really see that impulsive move to the upside and we're quite far away from that at the moment so let me take a look at where we are with the summit today so obviously i will attend the virtual one i haven't seen any any um any link or anything where I can actually log in. I registered, haven't seen. Um, they did say a few more emails will be coming out. I only received two, I think. They said there will be another one, possibly then today in the next few hours about where to log in. I think they make it, um, they leave it to the last minute to make sure that hackers don't, uh, you know, there's a lot of scamming obviously going around. So they wanna certainly try to um, avoid that people prepare for that too much. And um, they put up these uh, seven worlds, I think, seven virtual worlds on the virtual summit. So they put onto their um, website here, summit.cardano.org, they put the agenda and it runs for two days, of course, from today, three o'clock, um, depending on, you know, your time zone, of course. But there are these uh, seven worlds. And as far as I understand, these uh, keynote here, the first one is, for example, starting with an opening keynote by Charles, and that is can be viewed from all seven worlds, in my view. So they have then split that. So, for example, then here at 4.30, they've got the keynote starting building great products on Cardano. That is in the world, Cardano world. Then you have at the same time running Atala Prism in the utility world and so on. So that is how it is split. Um, you will be able to access the um, all those speeches, I think, and everything that's happening also with a delay, I think after eight hours and after 16 hours, they will able you will be able to stream it again if you're in a different time zone. Um, but certainly things that are interesting for me is certainly, of course, Charles's, um, you know, starting speech, the keynote, keynote, keynote announcement, and then certainly the building a new partnership that will be very interesting. 
here to be announced. I think that might be very, very interesting. I don't know if that is something new that is coming up or anything um, interesting, but I think they might certainly leave, have a very interesting fact or interesting partnership or something announced in the beginning and then potentially one more throughout and then maybe one at the end just to keep people interested. Um, again, building great products on Cardano will be interesting for me. Um, certainly also community in Africa because Cardano is very engaged in Africa. So I'm very certainly very interested in that. So what else am I interested in? Not the break. <laughs> um, yeah, bridging the multi-chain world is certainly something that interests me as well, because I think that is the future. There will not be only one blockchain. There will be different chains interacting with each other. Which it, with each other. Um, what else do we have? Decentralized software updates. Building dApps. No, I'm not a programmer, so I'm not interested in how to program or anything, I must say. Um, how to track and trace wine shipped across continents. Well, if that is something that will be built, you know, on, on Cardano, I think that is certainly very interesting because uh, you guys know probably that VeChain, this is something that VeChain is actually engaged in with um, tracking, tracing, you know, certifying certain things. And um, that is certainly something that Cardano could or certain applications, smart contracts running on the Cardano network could build on as well um, to make sure there are no, you know, plagiarism, reduce that and make sure that products are really certified, um, eliminate illegal copies of certain products. So that is certainly something that has a very, very bright future across all industries, um, across really all industries. Yeah. And especially large companies will be more interested in protecting their brands, you know, making sure that via blockchain products can be tracked and certified. So really, really interested in that. I think that's a big one coming up. Um, again, here, very, very close to that. I think no longer a luxury, luxury blockchain backed product authenticity authentication is probably a little bit different, but it is also related to what I said just earlier about the wine. Very, very interesting NFTs. Personally, I'm not really interested in NFTs. I know it potentially is in a sense the future, um, but I think at the moment, yeah, I'm just not too interested. I'm more interested in, um, you know, things like these real world applications like the tracking and tracing and certifying of products. And um, people have been talking about, you know, can you use smart contracts to buy houses, for example, you know, getting rid of solic solicitors, for example. NFTs, it's a nice to have. I, it's just not something that interests me. I think it's good and it has its place, but it's not something I can really get excited about at the moment. There, there you go. Again, decentralization for advancement in Africa. That's probably something that interests me really as well. The future of wallets, certainly imp interesting for everybody who's um, holding Cardano as well. What else? Alonso and beyond. Certainly something I might tune in as well. I use your wallet, so that is certainly something I have to listen in as well. There you go. It is not ending. There is so much stuff they have planned. Really, really excited. Again, IA and robots. This is something I potentially will listen in. Live AI and robots. Um, I'm using robots in my um, full-time job, so yeah, very interesting. Right, connecting people and capital community world, come meet the builders and creators. Okay, catalyst world. What else? Building decentralized ecosystems, Hydra. That's certainly absolutely a must view for me. I wanna know more about Hydra. I wanna know when it's gonna be implemented. And that is certainly the future, making Cardano much faster. So um, it's about scalability, so yeah. World Mobile, yeah, I love that. The idea of mo mo World Mobile, the World Mobile token, things like that, connecting people together, people who don't have access to the internet, who don't have access to mobile phones, maybe. Absolutely. And here again, Africa, as I did say before, there's something that interests me. So building brighter futures with Rwanda, with blockchain. I wanna listen into that. Um, but yeah, there's plenty. I don't even know if I have that much time, but I try to really be available and really try to listen in wherever I can. Social media redefined on blockchain. Yes, I think, you know, social media is obviously everywhere. So how to do that on blockchain, very important. Security on Cardano, yeah, ultimate payment power grid. 
again hydra don't know if that is something in addition to that i saw before live panel blueprint for 2025 so that is certainly something like probably the final update and um i want to certainly don't miss that i want to not miss that i think that is certainly very interesting because they might talk about some more partnerships for the future in that live panel blueprint for 2025 about how it's gonna de develop going forward the roadmap and everything so yeah i can't wait for it to start um i'll be observing everything closely maybe i'll see some of you some of you guys in that virtual world i've got no idea how that works um, but yeah, certainly enjoy the next few, to, you know, the next two days. Price updates will still come. I will, you know, in my regular updates, I will update you as well about what's been going on. If I saw anything exciting, I will update you in my um, daily updates about Cardano, which actually happen more than uh, once a day. So yeah, stay stay tuned. Subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. Hope you liked the video. If you did, as always, leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe. And thanks a lot for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.